Hello and welcome to episode three of Pagan Power. We are this lovely guy who is um rather old. He's sixty years old. We have King Sarahan of the Pagan Kingdom. He has four children, uh, one daughter, three sons, which means things are gonna get partitioned when he dies, which I don't really like, but you know, we can't even pass this because we don't have hereditary rule. This guy is actually minus five hundred prestige instead of plus one thousand. All of his vassals hate him. You know, it, it, he's not a good ruler. He does have a lot of troops. And we do have a good amount of cash. So, yeah, why don't we increase size? Sounds like a good deal. We'll increase the size of that, too. Um, I'd love to get war elephants. <laughs> but, yeah, he is a craven, humble, lustful man. So he does want to build up the troops just to protect himself. That's all. Oh, we can also upgrade our high tents. Yes, so our archers do more damage. Oh, yes, please. Uh, we have our wonderful Ananda temple. I'm not sure what he would build here, but we might build something. He, uh-oh, uh-oh. My cousin, Mayor Sabai, has brought forward a temple. I my kinsman, Sia, was fathered by my nephew, Duke Sia. Oh, really? Sia was fathered by Sia? Okay, who could have known? Secret exposed. Yes, there's all sorts of secrets going on. People are sleeping around. All that good stuff. We have brothers running things. We can ransom somebody. Let's take it. Family members can get married. Our granddaughter. Sure. Why don't you marry our nephew? That sounds excellent. Yes. And our half-sister, Brunswick. How about you marry that dude? Sure. And another half-sister. Why don't you marry that dude? Cool. Excellent. Oh, good deal. Um, what should we build? we do? Uh, let's make the screen a little less crowded. We have an alliance with this dude. Oh, we should actually come here and... Let's focus on wealth. Let's get some money backed up, please. Or money stocked up, not backed up. Minting new coinage. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of Pagan. The choices I make will determine how the coinage, and by extension my realm, is seen throughout the world. We can use silver coins, development growth. Gold coins would cause a stress that we're humble. Or we can debase the coins for some money. Let's give that a try. Ha ha! We gained 95 gold. Every county in the uh, Pagan Kingdom gets minted silver coins. Quite excellent, I would dare say. What would we build here? Maybe build some walls and towers. As soon as we finish constructing this, should be almost done. Yes. Or should we save up and get a duchy building? Hmm. What will we build in our duchy is a question. Do we go for tax offices? Leisure palace that gives control. Oh, royal preserves. We need um, manoralism, which is here after communal government. We're not the best at this. 14 years to discover. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. We need to uh, focus on learning a bit more. She's never going to be let out of prison, is she? She's beautiful. And this guy is jailing her and we can't even, like, do anything to get her out of jail. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. That's definitely a problem. Oh, well. Um, oh, yeah, we could end up ruling as, like, this guy has a son. We have a grandson here who's learning intrigue. Oh, he's also frail. Hmm... Oh well, we'll find something to do. I almost cannot believe it as I unwrapped the leather package. The tome inside must be a century old, if not more, carefully written, decorated, and gilded by ancient hands. While the gift was anonymous, Sejong has gone to great lengths to make sure that I would figure out that she was behind it. What wonders does this book contain? Ooh, nice. There were often there are often performers at court, but this time we were promised something special, and I certainly got it. As the tributor starts yet another stanza, I try not to show how flattered I am with this dedication, directed me in front of the entire court. 
Is she trying to seduce us? Sejong has clear, truly outdone herself. Interesting. This 18 year old is trying to seduce a 64 year old. Really? Really? Someone's trying to kill our sister. Excuse me. No, no, no. A word of advice. I saunter between the market stalls of Peg and a heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local sculptor, Ari, imagery is sound investment. My sister Augustus suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, brother. Have a look at the jeweler stall over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. So we invest in the sculptors, and we get 5% piety, 10% holding tax, or invest in a jeweler's workshop and have a 75% chance. Let's do it. Invest. We lost our money. Augustus, you led us astray. How could you? How could you? And after we married, we named our youngest daughter off of you. What? Lively livestock. As additional payment in a recent trade, I found myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I've been assured the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. <gasps> you know what? Let's let's make them. Let's try and make them a larger herd. It's a beautiful herd, but could be larger. Oh, very nice. And also, we have a uh, a large faction popping up. This dude. This dude is part of our family, and he is like gained way too much land. And then we've got our brother up there. And we've got this guy. They belong to London. You want to put our 54-year-old half-sister in charge. I will not be threatened. Rally the troops. Okay. Um. Let's see. Youngest daughter. I mean, you've got a... Oh, oh, oh you're married to a bastard. Interesting. All right, youngest daughter. You must be married off for an alliance. Give me alliance power. Oh, you, this kid. Interesting. How powerful is he? Oh, very powerful. Send proposal. Excellent. Uh, and you can marry. Let's do alliance power. And yes, Rosebud is talking in the background. Oh, 899622. Let's do that one. Yes. Raise all of our armies. And we will also hire some mercenaries. Ooh, they're all huge groups. We don't need a huge group. We need those guys. Those guys sound good. Hi, boys. Hello. Ah, oh, an alliance formed. Excellent. And yes, I can go in here and call her, but it's kind of annoying still. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Troops, stay together, please. An alliance formed. Excellent. Come join us. We are a defender, so it costs us no prestige. Hmm, excellent. Excuse me. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can catch these guys on this side of the river. Can we? Come on. Yas, we got them. We got them, boys! Rip them apart! You guys are trying to come up here to help, but it's too late! It's too late! You're trying to go for my capital, though. I don't like that. That's a no-no. That's a definite no-no. Uh-uh. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna defeat you. I better defeat you. Come on! Knock him out! We're... No, we're not leading troops. Who is leading troops? Our commander, Captain Minghong. Good job, Captain Minghong. Oh, we captured one of the counts. Ha ha ha. That's lovely. Who is actually leading this war? Oops. Prince Joseph, our brother up here. Well, brother. You don't get to hold your land. Oh, we can lock a new perk, though. Oh, yes. At any cost. We can sell titles. Oh, maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll sell them to our sons. Mm, but we'll reclaim this uh, center duchy area. Yeah, you're trying to siege stuff, but let's see if we can go. No, no, no. Don't, don't back up. Come on, boys. Siege it down. High speed. Full speed ahead. Come on. Oh, and there's our ally. He's sieging stuff down. Good for him. Of course, cost us no uh, prestige. To call him in. Excuse me. You're going to lower the control in my county. God damn it. How dare you. How 
dare you? Oh, good. Good job, Ally. Murder them. Murder the troops, and we'll see just back. Oh, another faction. Brother. Brother. What do you think you're doing? Um, yep. Yeah, you're in my prison. <laughs> no, our son died. Oh. What? He died from his wounds. He did not deserve this. Oh no! It's a life without him isn't it even worth living! How? How can we live without our son? Ooh, but but this wherever I go, my kinswoman Sajan, Sajan is sure to follow. I will keep her close, very close. Yes. We should do this again, but perhaps someplace else. Yep, but uh, this is a brave is a small space, and the air reeks of foul things recently deposited, but it's private, oh so private. Let's maybe find a, a better smelling place. Oops. As I slid between the sheets to join Sajani, I was horrified to find oozing blisters on her most private parts. Did I do this to her? Yes. Yes, you do. Um. We break up with her. No, 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 no. My dear, I can't express how sorry I am. But I mean, you seduced us. Um. You, you think it might be common knowledge. Oh, there you go, Mr. Mayor. Get lots of land. Ah, game. Oh, wait. Swollen belly. Oh, well. Well, then. It's time for you to marry me. Yep. I never thought it would come to this. Making it right. Since the day I found out that Queen Sejong was pregnant with our child, I've worried myself sick of her child's future. Now that we are lawfully wedded, my fears can finally be laid to rest. The secret will haunt me no longer. Oh, Queen Sejong, my darling, to think that I can embrace you openly now, with the blessing of both Vrudhaka and the people around us. I'm the happiest man alive. Come here, wife of mine. Yep. I mean, she's a, she's a kinswoman of ours. Oh, hey, 100% war score. Enforced demands. Now... Now it's time to clean up. You. I want Yangua. Yeah, give me Yangua. Or Kyung, whatever that is. Kyungsu, yes. What do you mean it's an act of tyranny? What do you mean it's an act of tyranny? He's a bloody rebel. I don't care. Revoke it. Just so. And... Oh, you're in my prison too. <laughs> Alright. You... We are going to revoke title. We will revoke Pegu. That leaves you with two, and you've got three sons. Yep, we are tyrannical. We are a tyrannical, tyrannical person. Okay. So we got Pegu. You are my vassal, a duke. You are, of course, part of my family. You are just an extra house. Uh, who is this? My nephew. All right, well, we have Pegu here, and you, oh, I need to take, uh, you know, I'm going to take Yamathin from you. Yes, revoke Yamathin. Give it to me. Just so. Excellent. All right, so now we control of Pagan. We've got Prince Joseph up here. We're just going to leave him in prison. It's fine. It's fine. Anyone else? Yeah, this is all good. Good, 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 good. Okay. We have two sons, our son and brother-in-law. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. You know, just make it, make it a uh, very, very tightly knit here. <laughs> oh no, we have a son who already has the lover's pox. Well then, hello, little Joseph. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Meager, strong, and wise. Our young queen is pregnant again. Is it really our child? Or are you cheating on us, young wife? Are you? Oh, and someone is trying to murder someone. I mean, that's pretty standard right now. Oh, hi, Rosebud. I know, you don't like tummy time. Oh, we are at death's doorstep. Well then... 
It is, it is about time. I mean, we're 69 years old. Hey, we have Princess London. May you grow strong and wise. At least not in the sun. Um, someone's trying to murder me. Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? You're not allowed to murder me. I'm at death's doorstep. Just, just let me eat, die peacefully, please. Oh, there we went. King Sarahan of the Pagan Kingdom has rescinded his material form at 69 years of age. Nice. He died of old age, a tormented man. He has long, had long desired the sweet embrace of death. Death? King Tenet ascends to the throne, loyal to his spouse and family. Tenet is certain to place the good of his dynasty above all personal concerns. And perfect timing, because I think Rosebud is done with his tummy time, and it's uh, time for me to go uh, take care of him. Oh, hey, we were ill, but we're no longer ill. That's good. Oh, there we are. King Tenet, who's 52 years old, and his heir is a girl. Who's 22? Interesting. Well, we'll see you in the next video, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.